Of all the Atelier DX games I've played so far, Atelier Alien Soul is the only one I've played prior to trying its DX version. While a lot of my DX journeys have been about discovering these Atelier games for the first time in their new forms, my time with Atelier Alien Soul DX was mostly about trying its new content and experiencing the story again with more knowledge of the series, with a combination of these things helping me finish it slightly quicker and get to its new Nelke related story content that still takes a bit of time to get to, but is a nice addition if you're a fan of both games. The people who will get the most out of it will be the ones trying it for the first time though, with DX features like the treasure hunt for Nelcave's world fragments, extra quests, and locations making this the most complete version of Lydian Soul and the best looking version for those playing on Switch. And even as someone coming back to this world for a second time, the lovable personalities of its twin alchemists and seeing how the alchemists from the previous games have grown made replaying this journey feel mostly worth it. And its new features and everything else means that I still have plenty to play Play with in a game that isn't open world like the last one, but is more than ready to keep you busy with all its humorous events and sweet story that has me wanting to do more in its colorful world. Since I've already gone over the systems and whatnot in detail for Lydian Soul in my original review for it, I'll put a link for that here as I think it would be better not to repeat myself too much about its core systems, but to speak on them a little, I will say that having that new perspective thanks to now having played Sophie and Furious DX had me notice in Lydian Soul the continuing trend of Adelia improving on its lost game in this entry, with the alchemy system basically combining mechanics from the previous two games and a lack of time limit that lets you be able to explore so much content in terms of story events that makes it feel almost as full as Furious, which is a big compliment as Furious had an open world. It was also just fun to replay the game that got me into Atelier, as it was its charming characters and relaxing gathering and synthesizing mechanics that made me fall in love with the series that led me to ultimately diving into it over the past few years, so playing this game made me feel pretty nostalgic. But putting that aside, I was also there to try its new DX features that brought in not only the DLC from the original, like the Blue Reflection area, other fields and also extra party members, but also new content, with Lydian Soul's new additions being centered around a new painting world to explore based on the Atelier spin-off game Nelke and the Legendary Alchemists. You unlock the ability to collect fragments to unlock this world early on, with finding the first one in the first painting world prompting you to collect them as you play, with a treasure chest containing a scrap of the painting appearing in each painting world after you've collected its fragments for the main story. While it's a fun little treasure hunt to do after completing each world, World, it does have you replay the whole game again to see this new content, which I didn't mind so much as I'd just come off playing Sophie and Furious DX for the first time, but as enjoyable as the Nelke content is, it could be considered a big ass considering my playthrough was 50 hours long and the Nelke content is about an hour. It's a fun challenging hour of story and gameplay though that you could get more time out of like I am considering how hard some of its enemies are and the fact that you may need to synthesize to be able to fully complete this area, but before that it allows you to run around a few areas from Nelke's world and even fight enemies with the Nelke and the Legendary Alchemist battle theme as the backing which felt cool. And then there's the big boss battle at the end to top it off that I'd say is even harder than the final boss of Lydian Soul as it took me out on the first try. So as I said, the time you put into preparing to fight that boss could add a couple of hours to this new content that may make it worth it to replay all of the original story to get here. And the humorous moments made by using the game's engine in a more comical way like we've seen in Atelier Lulua was pretty fun as well, and being invested in the twins' story and growth thanks to playing that story again did make it more worth it, along with having a chance to see the lovely Nelke in a new challenge for her growing town. Whether or not it's worth replaying the main story to get there will probably depend on the individual and how much you played of the original, and as someone who still had a lot of events from the original to see with the added context from Furious and Sophie, I didn't mind so much as I had that new perspective, although since this was my third mysterious trilogy, GDX game in a row, I will admit I wasn't as motivated to watch all the events, so I still need to go back and do that at some point, as my map in the post game still has plenty of events waiting to be seen, so if you do make it to the end, there is a lot of content to keep discovering if you're up for it, with the Nelke content and extra story moments added for a DLC that I never bought from the original, making this DX version feel very worth it. In fact, before that final chapter, I was already using plenty of DX features from the DLC and otherwise that seemed to help me 
finally got to the final chapter 10 hours earlier than my first playthrough, which should be encouraging for those thinking of replaying for the new content. Aside from being able to speed up battles, there are the special loads of XP and piles of cold quests that have me sorted anytime you need money and XP and allowed me to get pretty good equipment and be level 50 in the first hours of the game that I didn't feel bad doing as it was my second playthrough. And the extra party members, Illumeria and Lucia, provided great power and buffs to the party that not only made sure I was able to play with all the best characters, but also in cute costumes when I decided it was time to do a tribute to one of the other games. There are also some special shops that appear at certain times that have expensive items, but are a big help when the game's exams require certain rare materials or quality levels, so if it's your second playthrough like it was mine, at the very least there are a lot of things to help you get to the end faster, and with other additions like photo mode that adds another layer of visual fun, while I think new players will enjoy getting the fullest first playthrough experience like I did in the first two entries of the trilogy, there are certainly plenty of things to make this a fuller version of Lydian Soul for everyone. They gave my second playthrough a different feeling to the first one and still has me left with plenty to come back and play with. While playing Lydia and Soul DX meant replaying the main campaign, aside from getting more out of it thanks to having more knowledge about the Mysterious Trilogy, something that made coming back to this still feel special was the two twin alchemists this game is centered around. Lydia and Soul are incredibly charming characters to follow throughout its campaign, and now that I've played all three, I can say are probably still my favorites from the trilogy, as their dynamic as twins with contrasting personalities is really enjoyable to watch, with Sue's tomboyish attitude against Lydia's soft and sweet nature making it easy to see in my second playthrough exactly why they're loved so much in their town, and they both have wonderful senses of humor and some great lines in their dialogue that made it easy to fall in love with their dynamic all over again. A lot of this is thanks to a fun script that I noticed even more second time round just how well localized many of its jokes are, which is a little funny as I always had it in my head that Lydian Soul didn't have a very good localization thanks to some of its spelling and grammar errors that, by the way, is still present in this DX version, especially towards the end, but for some reason I found a lot of its individual lines a lot more fun this time round, and even though it's not the most polished localization in its later moments, it is really fun and accurate most of the time that makes its well-timed jokes hit as they should, so my second playthrough makes me glad I could also enjoy the script more, and the fact that I'm currently motivated to go back and see more events throughout all of Atelier at the moment I think is largely thanks to this one and how much it made me appreciate humor in the daily life of these wholesome games. A final thing I wanted to mention about Lydian Soul DX is how it seems to look on Switch, which I can't say too much about since I played the PS4 version instead, but have seen other people play it, particularly on Koei Tecmo Japan's own livestream, and it seems to look much better than the original. When I played the original Switch version of Lydian Soul, it always seemed a little more washed out or less sharp than the PS4 version, so it's been good to see in trailers and in videos that the Switch version seems to come closer in quality to the PS4 one that will possibly make it attractive to those who have already played it on the handheld but wish it looked as good as other versions. And with all the pretty landscapes and painting worlds that really embody the mysterious part of this trilogy, I'm happy that more people can experience this game looking as good as it should on handheld, and the Switch version is something I'll probably consider picking up myself sometime just to have it to play with on the go in its best form. And since I still have all those events to get to, the handheld version is pretty tempting, and with so much to play with alongside its charming protagonist and a better version of Nelke's West world to conquer, I'm really glad this DX version of Lydian Soul exists to help everyone get the most out of it and enjoy this colorful world. In what was once my first venture into the Atelier series, playing Atelier Lydian Soul with its new DX content was a big treat, and while it can feel long if you're playing it a second time, the new content and features do at least help to get to these faster, and with both DLC and new content to explore, it's all worth giving a try if you've missed playing in its colorful worlds. I'm glad Switch players will also be able to enjoy it looking as good as the PS4 version so that more people will be able to fall in love with all the fun characters and vibrant painting worlds that make gathering and synthesizing weird and wonderful things all the more fun, and the Nelke content is also there to add new challenges to the end game that add a fun level of challenge and the chance to run around in an Atelier world we hadn't had a chance to properly explore before now. After playing this, I'm happy to have left the experience feeling like Lydian Soul DX is still one of my favorite Atelier games, and I'm glad this re-release was an opportunity to get to know it from a different angle after having played the two games that came before it, and with there still being post-game 
content to explore and be challenged by, and more events with its lovable characters. It's nice that Atelier Linnean Sordiax is around to make getting to these things more seamless in this enjoyable and mysterious world that I'm glad to have revisited. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you've tried Atelier Linnean Soul in any of its forms, and if you have, what did you think of it? You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below. Thank you again to Koei Tecmo for the code for the trilogy, and until next time, thank you! Bye!